1975, a young Venezuelan maestro named Jose Antonio Abreu created a unique philosophy. Teach music to strengthen individual skills, reduce aggression, and increase positivity in young children. Today, the well-proven public health approach called El Sistema is taught on every continent. And in a small city of the U.S. state of Virginia, one teacher is using it to change the game for children in an underserved community. This is Reynaldo Ramirez's story in his own words. One in four children in Newport News live in poverty. Newport News, like all communities uh, in America and across the world, has pockets of poverty. 61% of our young people in Newport News would be classified as um, in poverty. We've seen students that have lost relatives, We've actually had some students that have lost their parents. We don't know exactly what's going on all the time. We hear stories, the kids are very open with us, they tell us what's going on in the community. My name is Ray Ramirez. I'm the program director and co-founder of Soundscapes. Thirty-nine years ago, it was founded by Jose Antonio Abreu, who is an economist and uh, amateur musician and social reformer. He actually started this orchestra with, with 11 people in a cramped garage. From there, has won many competitions, has one of the top orchestras in the world called the Simon Bolivar Orchestra, and now serves over 500,000 kids per year. I left what was really a top tier in, in my field for the hope and a prayer that this would work. My dream is for you to just sound so beautiful, but the only way it takes is concentration and playing. All right, let's do it. One, ready. When we started in 2009, we were the fourth El Sistema inspired program in the United States. Now there are over a hundred. It's spreading like wildfire. And the reason it's spreading like wildfire is because it works. Slowing down. Bum, 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 bum. Stop. One more time. Once is luck, twice is skill. Do it again. The power of music get up, get up. is changing our communities. And our communities are changing the world. The music is just a vehicle to teach children self-respect, to teach children discipline, to teach children a sense of self-confidence in their own worth, and to keep children off the streets. We call it in many ways an intervention program. They can spend two hours uh, every day after school doing something that they love, being taught by young people who are professional musicians. We provide all the instruments, we provide the instrument maintenance, we provide, you know, of course, the teachers and the facilities, and we give them everything they need to be successful. You know, it's teaching the life skills that are going to have profound effects on academics. We are already seeing that our kids are performing 17 to 23 percent better than the kids in their peer grades. We're not teaching science and math directly in the classroom, but these underlying skills of goal setting, being able to think critically, all really help the student succeeding academically.
It's also about them finding the passion in music and really learning what it means to, to play and express the joy that, that music can give you. And they're learning to be expressive people and they're becoming more social. I have in front of my orchestra the most inspiring people in the world. They inspire me every day. They make me better. The idea of music as a vehicle for social change, it just, it, it resonated so much to me. I like um, hanging out with my friends and playing my instrument. I can just have fun and play with all my friends and all that. I just, I just try to find her in the audience to see her, but they say, don't look at the audience, look at your music. And I'm like, okay, okay. I was trying so hard. I was in tears. <laughs> it makes me happy to see them performing and doing so well at it. I can't just give up on them because one day, these kids are going to be my doctor. They're going to be my lawyer. They're going to be my congressman. They're going to be the people that are taking care of us. Our thanks to Reynaldo Ramirez for sharing his story.